Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I had a user reach out saying, Hey, can you make a code block submarine? I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. Of course, friends, step one is to get into Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google, and then we're going to build with code blocks. We are going to choose new design, and then when it launches, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to put submarine. Let's start by moving to modify and create a new object and we're going to rename that tube. This will be the tube that our submarine is created with. Under shapes we want to grab a cylinder. When you bring it out open its properties and let's make it 50 for the length. Let's change the sides to 64 and if we hit play let's see what that looks like. That is a decent tube, but I think it's too fat. I'm going to tell you we're going to try the number 7. I think I'm also going to make it 70 long, and let's hit play. I think that is going to be great for our submarine. Let's add a paraboloid up here by bringing in the paraboloid, and then we need to check its measurements. Since we chose 7 earlier, let's choose 7 now. We will leave the height for a moment, but we need to raise it up. We're going to do that with a modify. And under Z, remember how this was 70 high? That means from the middle, which is 0, it is 35 high. If we type 35 right here for how far we want this paraboloid to move, it should move close to the top of our project. What we missed was that it is the middle. Notice how it has a height of 20. Let's add 10 to this and go to 45 and bam we have got the front of our sub to the right spot the only problem is i want it to be a little less pointy i'm going to tell you to take its height and let's make it 10 and see how that looks that is the right shape but now it's too high let's change it to 40 and hit play and bingo that is the front of our submarine now we also need to do the back of our submarine I want to use these same two pieces down below, so let's right click duplicate. Since the first one went positive 40, let's just guess the next one is negative 40. I'm also going to change this to 15, so it's got a different shape at the back of the submarine. If we hit play, you can see they are moved. We do need to flip that. We're going to flip it with the rotate command. We're going to rotate around Y, and we know we want to go 180 degrees. Now when we speed this up and hit play, let's try negative 35. And once you hit play, check it out. That was not good, so I'm going to switch it to negative 45. That's too far. So I'm going to try negative 42.5. That made it perfect. Friends, that is going to be the tube of our submarine. Let's create a group and let's rotate it. And we'll rotate the whole thing across X 90 degrees. Let's hit play and see how it looks. Bingo. That's pretty darn fun. Let's raise it up with a move. I'm going to raise it up. 10, so it's off the bottom. That ended up being perfect. Let's make it a fun color. I want it to be gray, which would be like for a submarine. Now I would like to add a tower to this. So I'm going to create a new object, and I'm going to call it Tower. Rename Tower. Tell it OK. And we're going to build this with a cylinder. When we bring out the cylinder, remember our whole radius was 7. So I'm going to make this 5. I'm going to make the height 10. I'm going to do the sides at 64. I'm going to do an edge of 2. And I'm going to hit play. So notice it is lined up, but it is too low. So we're going to click on Modify, and we're going to move it up. And I'm going to say the up number looks like about 15. Let's see if that pokes out the top. Yes, it does. 
I want it to be thinner. So we're going to use the scale command. And let's scale X by 0.7 and see if we like it. If you hit play, I do like that, but I want my edge steps to be 5. I want my color to be another gray. Let's hit play and check that out. We have got a submarine with a tower. How cool is that? I'm going to switch my grays. I think I want them to match. That's pretty darn fun. Let's real quickly make a new part called a fin. I'm going to put this out beside because we'll build the sub with these when we're done. Click here and choose rename and let's call it fin. We're going to build this with a sphere. When you bring out the sphere, if you just hit play, you'll see there is a round sphere. Let's check its radius. I'm going to tell you that the size we want is 4. Do not worry about the step. And then we are going to modify it with the scale command. Now what we want to do is make it really skinny on Z. So let's type point 2 and hit play. And you'll see that it is hiding underneath. Friends, let's make X 1.2. And let's make Y 0.6. Let's hit play and see how that looks. I think that's good for starters. Let's start assembling a submarine. Start with create new object. We are going to rename it as sub. Friends, we are going to start by doing add a copy of an object. And we've got three objects we're going to use. So I'm going to duplicate that to have three of them. We are also going to delete those objects when we're done. So I'm going to tell you to duplicate and duplicate. So we're ready to get rid of all the parts. Now let's go to data. I want you to put the tube right there, the tower right there, and the fin right there. And then once we're done, we are going to delete the tube, the tower, and the fin. When you hit play, everything will look just like it did a minute ago. Friends, now that we got the cute little fin, it is time to move it in place. Make sure you put your move right up here. Let's change that Z to 15. Let's change the Y to something like 30. I'm going to actually do 25. When we hit play, you'll see that's close, but it's also too small. So we're going to take the scale, and we're going to change the scale of X and Y by 2. We could have planned for that ahead of time, but we were just adjusting. So it's good to just test it out like this. Let's try a Z of 10 now and see how that looks. That's pretty cool. I think I actually want to scale this, though, on X to size 3. Let's hit play and see what that looks like. Ooh, that is pretty darn awesome. I want to add another one of these, though. So let's real quickly move these apart and duplicate this whole chunk. Once again, bring in our deletes to get rid of the originals. Let's put our second one up here on the tower. Instead of a Y of 25, let's just try 0 and let's try 20 for the height. When we hit play, you can see that lines up really good, but it's insanely big. Let's try 1.5 for the thickness. And let's change the height to 18. And then I'm also going to change the Y to 1.5 and see if I like that as well. Friends, there you have it, a super fun submarine in no time. If you want to adjust something, like say the tower is not in the exact spot you want, this is where you can come back here to your modify, bring in a move, and let's move the tower to a Y of negative 10. You'll notice that messes up our fin, but since we know we moved it 10, check it out. We just come down here to that fin and give it a negative 10 as well. Friends, a submarine in Tinkercad code blocks. How fun is that? Friends, as we wrap this up, remember when you're working with code blocks, it is always smart to create parts and then use the parts to create the final object. 
That is how you can learn a little bit about code and moving and manipulating as you create your epic designs. Before I wrap up, I want to say thanks again to Viral Funk Punk. You came up with the awesome submersible contest, and that was what drove me into making this cool submarine. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.